What's up, everybody? This is Russell. Welcome back to Traffic Secrets TV. What should we call this? Traffic Secrets, the TV show, the live experience, Traffic Secrets, quarantine time. We can call it whatever you guys want to. Uh, just excited to hang out with you guys today. Uh, sorry I'm a little later than normally in the day. Um, we're in the middle of the Traffic Secrets book launch, and I literally am practicing what I'm preaching. As you guys get a copy of your book, you learn about like working your way in and buying your way in, and I've been working my way in. I did a bajillion interviews today. Not quite a bajillion, but pretty close to that. So it's been a lot of fun, and um, I'm going to be doing more of those over this whole week. So hopefully, I'll get back to our normal time by tomorrow, um, but today I was a little bit off, so I, I apologize about that. But i excited to be back with you guys. How are you all surviving during this quarantine time? Um, we... Uh, Last week was technically our spring break for our kids. So now they're like, spring break's over and they're back to, uh, to like normal, normal life. And um, except for now we're, we're in quarantine. So it's like another spring break. And they're not sure like, do we score? Do we not? And it's just kind of chaos. But um, for me and you, it's, it's life as usual. We're here hanging out, talking about traffic and traffic secrets and building our businesses, our empires and serving our people, especially during this time of uncertainty and all that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, I'm excited to be hanging out with you guys for the next 30 minutes or so. And uh, we're going to dive deeper into traffic secrets. How many of you guys have got your copy of traffic secrets? Let me know in the comments down below if you got it. Be like, yes, I got it. Of course I did, Russell. I got it the first second you told me about it. Or some of you guys are like, hmm, I actually haven't yet, Russell. I know you keep telling me to. I know I need to, but I haven't for some crazy reason. Uh, anyway, if you don't have your copy yet, all you gotta do is go to trafficseekers.com to get a copy of the Traffic Seekers book. Now, obviously, this ship's on May 5th, so it's a little, it's pre launch right now, but the audiobook is available right now. So one of the upsells is the audiobook. You can start listening to it right now. In fact, somebody messaged me. I can't remember who it was now. This morning, I looked at the, my messages, and they told me to listen to it four times uh, over the weekend. Four times. It's me in a studio. I read, it took me three days, seven hour actual audio book. So it means they spent 28 hours with me in their ear, but they probably understand it better than me. So yes, this is an audio. It's an audio book. You just got to go to trafficseekers.com, get your free copy of the book, which ships on May 5th. And then uh, the audio book is one of the upsells, uh, which you can get. Um, and, uh, and then um, the box set here, if you want all the other updated hardbound new books, it's in there as well. But we'll talk about that later. So today we're going to talk, we're going to go deeper into Traffic Secrets. And I'm um, going to take you guys, because we just finished, um, uh, last week we finished, on Friday we finished section number one of the book. Yes, yeah, so we, we've gotten deep into this. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Uh, section number one went through a whole bunch of cool stuff. We talked about, uh, section number one is called your dream customer, but we talked about uh, secret one was who your, who's your dream customer. Secret number two is where are they hiding, aka the dream 100. Secret number three, hook story offer and the attractive character. Secret number four, working your way in and buying your way in. Secret number five, traffic that you own. Secret number six was follow-up funnels. And secret number seven was infiltrating your dream 100. So those are things we've covered in the past Facebook slash Instagram lives. And if you missed any of them, uh, feel free to go back. These are all posted on my Facebook page over uh, facebook.com, whatever. Anyway, search for Russell Brunson Live and you'll get all the live videos are all there. And uh, I'm also working uh, I'm also working on putting this into a podcast. So you guys want to listen to this and get deeper into traffic through your ears, we can turn this into podcasting uh, soon as well. So it's going to be fun. Anyway, uh, so right now we're moving on to section number two of the book, uh, which is called Fill Your Funnel. And um, it, it's it's kind of kind of cool. And so um, I'm just, uh, today I want to talk about the Fill Your Funnel framework. So uh, you guys heard me talk about this as I created this book. My biggest fear writing this book was like, how do I write a book um, about the the least evergreen topic of all time, which is traffic, and make it evergreen so it'll be you know true yesterday, today, tomorrow, and for forever? Because I don't want to rewrite this book in six months from now, or a year from now, or five years from now. That's when I'm dead, and it, and Facebook, you know, Mark Zuckerberg is gone, and Facebook disappeared. I want people to pick up this book and be like, this is still relevant today. What? This is crazy. How did Russell even know? Um, it's funny because, like, for me, I read a lot of the books from my old time. Um, you know, some of the the founding fathers of direct response marketing, and I study all these books. And it's crazy now looking back. You know, pre internet, pre anything, uh, some of the smartest guys were these marketers uh, talking about copy and and things like that way back then. And the principles still work today. And so, you know, guys like Eugene Schwartz, Shorts, uh, Robert Collier, like all the old timers. Um, my goal is that this book will last. The you know throughout time so that when I'm gone this book will still work and so I had to write this book differently than just like a typical traffic book which is like here's how to run a Facebook ad or here's how to run a Google ad like it's not what this book is about uh, this book looks at traffic differently and so what you're gonna learn about in section number two is what I call the fill your fra- uh, fill your funnel framework and if you've ever studied with me or learned stuff from me I'm very big on frameworks. And so the fill your funnel framework is, is a process and concept you have to understand. If you understand this process, 
Uh, it'll work in any in any kind of advertising, right? It'll work on Facebook, works on Instagram, works on YouTube, works on Google, works on TikTok, works on Twitch, works on MySpace. You can go back in time, works on MySpace. You can go to new networks that'll be uh, discovered in the future as well and it'll work just as good there as it does today. And so that's what this whole process of this book is help you understand this framework. So here's what the Fill Your Frontal Framework looks like. When you get your books on page 128, section number two. But this is the doodle. You guys know I doodle everything out. But this is the framework here. So today I'm going to just walk through these six steps of the process. So you guys start understanding them. And then um, and then after that, we'll start going through each day. And in here, I do go through and I apply it to Instagram. I apply it to Facebook. I apply it to Google. I apply it to YouTube. I apply it to podcasting. And then I let you guys kind of run through from there where you can. Now you've seen this framework in five different networks. Here's how you can go run with it in any network. Okay. All right, so uh, the Philly Funnel Framework is basically six, six steps. Here's the doodle again. There's six steps we're going to be going through here that you got to understand. So step number one is what I call history and goal. Okay, you have to understand the history with the advertising network and then the goal, where they're trying to go. Okay, and the reason why is because uh, when I first got started getting traffic, what I would do, I would go into a different network and my goal was like, let me figure out how to hack this. Let me figure out how to beat the network. Um, and one of the, you know, we did this the most with Google, like we figure out what Google's algorithm was and we'd like figure out a way, a loophole behind it. And we'd like go and we spam the search engines like crazy to get ranked really high. And it was fun because it was always like a game. We're trying to beat the system and then we'd beat it for a little while and we get rankings, a bunch of traffic. And then like Google will catch up and they change things and then we drop out of it. And then we come back and try to like beat the system again. We figure out how to beat it. We get ranked really high and then they come through and shift it and we, we get dropped out again. And that was like the game forever. And what I realized is that. While that can be a lot of fun, it is not a way to build a solid, sustainable business. Um, you know, as we grew ClickFunnels, I'm like, we have to only do things that are white hat that are going to be around for a long time. And so the way we do that is initially is, you, is if you're going into any advertising network, you have to understand, first off, the history of where they've come from, and second off, the goal of where they're going. So you understand the history and the goal, and then your job is not to come in and figure out what's the loophole I'm going to exploit to get more traffic. It's figuring out how can I get it in alignment with the goal of the network. If I can get it in alignment with the goal of the network, then they will give me free traffic. So instead of, it's, it's a shift in mindset for most marketers. Most of us are like, how do I beat, how do I hack the algorithms? What's the loophole? And I know that was my mindset for 10 years. This, this book is not, how do I, what, what's the loophole? Instead, it's coming back and say, okay, not what's the loophole. It's like, what's the goal of the network and how do I align with their goals? And if I can do that, they'll give me traffic for free. It's a different way to look at it. It's more of a holistic long-term approach, but it's a way that makes sure that you're going to be around for a long time. Some of the questions said, is Dotcom Secrets and Expert Secrets audiobook upsells the new versions? Yes, uh, I re-recorded all three of these, so it's all the new versions of the books. So uh, we do have the upsell. You can get the audiobook upsell when you go to TrafficSecrets.com for all three books as well. So yes. Okay. Uh, all right, so step number one is understanding history of the network and the goal of where they're going and then aligning yourself with them. That's number one. Number two, okay, number two step here in the process is finding your dream 100. Okay, now we talked about dream 100 on, in secret number two. So dream 100, who are the people who have already congregated your dream customers? So if I'm going into Instagram or to Facebook or to Twitch or to TikTok, whatever, I'm looking at who are the people that have already congregated my dream customers? Okay, I'm gonna find those people and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna unsubscribe from everyone else. I tell people like, in the book, like if you're going to Instagram, go to Instagram and unfriend all of your high school buddies and your college buddies because you don't want to be getting in political debates on those on the social networks. It's a waste of your time and your energy. My job is to use this as an advertising tool. So I go unsubscribe from everybody and I follow just the people who've already congregated my dream customers. Okay, my dream 100, the people who already have my customers. Okay, so the influencers on each platform who already have your customers and then follow all of them. Okay. Now, if you've done that, if you follow them all, what's going to be cool is when you open up Facebook or Instagram, whatever network you're going into, the first, like you open it every morning, you start scrolling through your feed. Only thing you're going to see, you're not going to see all the annoying stuff that's driving you crazy, that's making your blood boil, that's making you get in arguments with people who were your friends five minutes earlier. Instead, all you're going to see are the people who are marketing to your dream customers. Okay. You're going to see all those people in there and you see what they're doing. What are the hooks they're throwing out? What are the messaging? What's actually happening? Okay, and then in real time, you can actually see what the networks are rewarding today. Okay, that's the big secret, okay? Because the advertising platforms are changing so often that anything I wrote in this book, like here's what's working today, will be irrelevant by tomorrow, okay? You just figure out what is the advertising platform rewarding today, okay? So look at like what's showing up in your feed and then why? Like what are they doing? How are they doing it? How are they structuring their images and their posts? And like it starts getting, you start seeing what's working today. And when you see that, now you know what kind of things you should be creating to be successful on the platform as well. Okay. Um, I remember the other day, some of you guys saw on Instagram, I posted a, a picture of me with a sticky note with had a quote on it, right? And it did really, really well. One of our higher performing uh, pieces of content we put out there. Okay. How did I find that out? 
Okay, I follow a bunch of my Dream 100. I was scrolling through my newsfeed, and all of a sudden, there was one Lisa Billy you posted something, and it caught, like, as I was scrolling, it caught me. And it was like her holding a, a yellow stick, you know, like this with the quote on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that stopped me in my tracks as I was, as I was, as I was scanning. Okay, so I saw, I was following my Dream 100, and I was like, she did that. How did she do it? And I, and I looked at what she did and how she structured the post, everything. And I got some ideas like, oh, cool, that's something that worked for her. I can do something similar. So I figured out what's the quote I want to share. I wrote on a sticky note. I got a picture of it. I posted it. And that one did, that performed really, really well for us. Okay? And I only figured that out because she's someone who I'm following. I'm scrolling through my feed every single day looking for ideas of like, what can I post? How can I post it? What are people doing that are, that are different? Like, what's the pattern interrupt that's working today that nobody else has thought of? And then from there, I'm trying to innovate and come up with my own ideas. Okay? But it all comes back to like, following my Dream 100 on the platform and seeing what they're doing and watching what the platforms are rewarding in real time. Okay, that's step number two. Step number one, what's the history and the goal of the platform? Number two, find your Dream 100 on the platform, follow them and keep your eyes open and watch every single day what they're posting, how they're posting it, what are the hooks, what are the things that they're putting out there? Okay, then secret number th- or step number three in the framework is figure out what is your publishing plan, okay? And like you're on this network, how are you publishing? Okay, are you doing, are you going to go live every single day? If it's Facebook, am I going live every day? Am I going live twice a week? If it's podcasting, am I podcasting once a week? Am I podcasting every day? If it's, you know, Instagram, like what's the, like what's your publishing plan, your publishing plan? You have to figure out your own strategy and the publishing plan. Okay, so by watching my Dream 100, I start looking at like, what are they doing? How often are they posting? What are they saying? How are they doing? And starts, I start looking at that and start figuring out like what is working today. Okay, and then from there, I create my own publishing plan. Okay, I know when I launched my podcast way back in the day, I was like, okay, I'm going to do a podcast. I'm going to be publishing it three times a week, and this is how it works. And I created a plan, and then I stuck to it. Okay, Instagram, when I first got online, uh, if, when we first started doing it, we were posting two images a day because that's what was working really good. Now, we've shifted. If you notice now, on Instagram, I post one image a day on my wall, uh, but I used to do two, but one because that, that's what's working the best right now. So I said, okay, once a day, I'm going to publish the, the best picture I have that day. And I'll, when I get to the Instagram chapter, I'll walk you through my strategy deeper, but I'm publishing one thing there, right? Uh, on my Insta stories, I'm gonna publish five to 10 stories a day. Like I gotta figure out what's my plan that I can actually do and that I'll be consistent with and I create that publishing plan and I stick to it, okay? So that's step number three in the process is how are you actually publishing on this platform? Okay, and step number four, this goes back to talked about earlier. Now that, I, now that I'm on this, now that um, I've, I've understood the, this, uh, this network, I found my Dream 100 and following, I've created my own publishing plan. Now I'm coming back to my Dream 100 and say, okay, how can I work my, yes, work my way, that's number four. How can I work my way into my Dream 100? Can I do collabs? Can I do, um, uh, like for example, uh, the other day, um, I'm in the middle of my book launch, obviously getting people to buy Traffic Secrets at trafficsecrets.com. And uh, I did a, uh, I was on Instagram and one of the people on my Dream 100 is a guy named Jason Stone and he's got a, a Facebook group called the Millionaire uh, or uh, Instagram, uh, his Instagram channel is called Millionaire uh, Mentor, I believe. He's like 5.5 million fans on there, right? So he's, got, he's already got all of my dream customers there. And so I was like, how can I work my way in? So I got, I sent him a copy of the book. I said, hey, can we do an, uh, an Instagram live to your audience? He said, yes. So within five seconds, he clicked, he clicked uh, live on Instagram. He uh, invited me on it and boom, instantly uh, me and him were on there. And I was talking to 5.5 million people. Right, we had like twenty five hundred people, I believe, came on came online instantly and had a chance where I could work my way in and start talking to the, his audience instantly. And that was one person on my Dream One Hundred. I'm going back now on Instagram. Tons of other people who are who already have big followers on Instagram, and I'm saying, hey, let's go live, let's go live, let's do collabs and start. And I start working my way into those audiences. Okay, so that's step number four. How can I work my way into my the audiences of my Dream One Hundred? Okay, step number five then is like now that I'm working my way in, how can I buy my way in? Can I buy ads to 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 uh, target those people who uh, to the target the followings of the Dream 100, the people I've already congregated? That's step number four, or sorry, step number five is buying my way in. So I work my way in, I buy my way in. Okay, we talked about this during section number one. So this is kind of a recap. Right, I know my Dream 100 and work my way in, buy my way in, and then from that. All the traffic I'm getting from both these sources as well as my own publishing, I'm turning all that into traffic that I own. I'm driving people into a book funnel, into an opt-in funnel, into something where now they're joining my list, now they're traffic that I own, and I can follow up with them over and over and over and over and over again. Okay? That making sense? So that's the that's that's the secret, guys. That's the big, that's the algorithm hack if you want it. If you need a loophole, there's the loophole. Okay? It's simple and it works on any platform, any network. And over the next week or so, I'm going to be going through and showing you guys specifically, here's how I did it on Facebook, here's how I did it on Instagram, on YouTube, on Google, and to show you guys this, this process. But that's what it is. It all comes down to step number one is understanding the history of the network and the goal of where they're going and then figuring out how to get in alignment with what the network actually wants. Number two, figure out who are the people on that network who've already assembled your dream customers and who are they? Who, they're your dream 100. Okay, and then following all of them so you can watch in real time what the networks are rewarding in your specific market today. 
right? And every single day I'm getting market research from watching every single person that's posting anything. And from there I figure out what's my publishing plan that I'm gonna be consistent with, that I can stick with, I'm gonna do every single time, right? And you make your publishing plan, you start publishing. And then from there, now you got that all in place. Now it's like, hey, cool, now how do I work my way in? I've got my Dream 100, how, what can I do to get in into those audiences? Can I, can I do it, can I have them interview me? Can I give them a gift? Can I, like, what can I do to work my way into the audience, right? The number two, or number uh, five, number five, now how can I buy my way into their audience, okay? And number six is how do I turn all this traffic from my own publishing, the publishing of me buying and the publishing that I'm, or buying and that I'm working my way in and turn it into traffic that I own. And now I, from there, I can put them into my follow-up funnels and everything else we talked about during section number one. That is the big secret, you guys. Okay, so there's the framework. It's pretty simple. It's not super complicated. But um, as I, again, as I go through section two of this book here, you can see the pattern over and over and over again. Um, and so actually the next two days will be a little different. Um, tomorrow we're gonna talk about filling your funnel organically, which is working your way. And we're gonna go to that, which will be fun. And then uh, the next day, Secret and I, we're talking about filling your funnel with paid ads. We'll talk about that. <clears throat> and then after that, then we go in and now we start playing this game. And I'm like, okay, here is, flip through my book, uh, Instagram, right? And so I'm gonna show you guys this fill your funnel framework as it applies to Instagram, boom. And then the next one is uh, Facebook, Google, YouTube. So I'm gonna show you those four platforms. I'm gonna show you the practical application of this framework that I just showed you guys today on top of those four networks, you'll see it over and over again. And you'll see how we dominate Instagram, how we dominate Facebook, YouTube, Google, and it'll give you guys a, a, a really good understanding. And then your job is not to go and publish on all of them, okay? And I'll get more into that. My goal for you is not to go, I, I don't want you to think that I need to be publishing on all these platforms. My goal for you is to pick one and just focus on that one, okay? And I'm sure some of you guys are like, but Russell, you're on all of them. I'm like, yeah, but I also have a huge team of people. When I got started, it was just me and I just focused on one and one alone. And so for you, you just gotta pick one right now. Okay, and so and I don't care which one it is, and we'll get deeper. Uh, in fact, I would wait. Like, let me go through these all so you can understand them all, the pros and the cons of them, and then at that point you can pick like which one you want to focus on, and then go and go deep into that one. And that's where it's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So, um, Ray said, of the three platforms, which I focus on first. A lot of it depends on you. I say, what platform do you like the most? Um, I don't think. I think a lot of these people are trying to figure like, what's the one that's gonna give me the biggest bang for your buck? And the reality is, what's the one that you're gonna understand the most? I know um, when I, um, you know, I really like Facebook for a long, like that was my main focus. So for the first couple of years, like everything I published was on Facebook. So all my Facebook audience, hey, how's it going guys? And then I, I started becoming more obsessed with Instagram. And now I love, I publish most, I publish more on Instagram now than anywhere else because I love Instagram. So I'm on Instagram all the time. I do Insta stories throughout the day, every single day. And it's really, really fun. Um, and I remember when, I, when we decided we wanted to start doing YouTube, like I didn't understand YouTube, but I thought like, oh, I'm a genius. I know, I know YouTube. Like, and so we started making these amazing videos and posting them. And it got almost zero traction. In fact, we posted over 100 videos. And I was like, YouTube's horrible. Like, I don't get this platform. I am not having success. So I couldn't figure it out. And I remember um, the reason why is because I don't, I, I don't actively use YouTube. Like, I'm not someone who consumes videos on YouTube. So I didn't get YouTube. I, don't understand, I didn't understand the network. Right? I didn't understand, if I come back here, the history and the goal of, of, the, of the platform. And so because of that, I, I really struggled with it. And um, I remember after I kind of had that aha, I was like, I got to figure out YouTube. I went and uh, I, I went with my kids. My kids love YouTube. And I said, I want to watch YouTube with you. They're like, what do you want to watch, Dad? I'm like, I don't care. I want you to watch it. Like, I just want to watch you watching YouTube so I can figure out what. So I can understand this platform. It's so different. Like, I'm not succeeding with it. Let me see what happens. And so my kids started watching YouTube. I sat back and I watched them. And I watched what they did and how they did, what videos they watched, which ones they stuck on, which ones they watched for like five seconds and then they left. And I started noticing. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I totally, I, I did not have respect for the platform before I went into it because I didn't understand it. And because of that, we shifted everything and now we're having a lot of success on YouTube, but it took a long time because I didn't understand the platform. So for you guys, it's like, where do you spend most of your time? If you listen to podcasts and you love podcasts because that's like your thing, you should be starting your own podcast. If you're like, I'm obsessed with Instagram, I just want to be here swiping up like crazy, build there. If you're like, I want to be doing Facebook because like I get Facebook, like like go where you where you spend the most, the majority of your time right now because you're going to understand the intricacies of that network uh, more so than a new one you're going to go into. So I don't care if you start building on Facebook today or Twitter or TikTok, it doesn't matter to me. Just pick one that you love and then that's where you're going to double down on, okay? So while I'll be showing you guys a lot of them over the next week, I don't want you learning all of them, okay? In fact, uh, towards the, the end, maybe this might be next week, but there's a chapter called Conversation Domination, which is like, how do you dominate the conversation on every platform? But even then, I don't talk about like you doing it on every, and then you'll see, I'll walk you through the, the strategy, but um, it's really understanding the intricacies of each platform and, and focusing on the ones that you understand the best. So that's the game plan. Chase said, how do I have so much energy? Because I'm hanging out with you guys. Like, I'm excited. Um, you have to generate energy. I could have been like, hey, what's up, everybody? Traffic secrets. 
and you know, I'll be like, meh, boring. But instead, I'm like, I'm excited about this. I'm excited to share with you guys. We got on live right now, we got 163 on Instagram, 184 on Facebook. So there's like, what, 300 and some people I'm standing in front of right now. Like, I am pumped to be talking to you guys. And these videos over the next 24 hours, uh, based on normal stats, the Instagram will be shown about, be seen about 5,000 times on Facebook, uh, anywhere from 10 to 50,000, depending on if we put some ads behind it. So like, this is like, I'm, I'm speaking to a st- like a football stadium worth of people right now. I got to be like, I'm pumped about that. And I'm tired. I've been on interviews all day. I've probably done eight or nine interviews today. I'm worn out. I'm tired. Like I'm ready to go to bed. Um, in fact, in 30 minutes from now, I'm going to be swimming with my kids in the backyard. Um, and so I'm totally out of energy, but I'm showing up for you guys because I love you. I care about you. I want you guys to understand these things. If I don't, if I don't step up my game when I'm talking about what I'm excited, if I, if I'm not excited about this, you are not going to be excited about this. Okay, especially times right now, like everyone's uncertain, everyone's freaking out, everyone's at home, like wondering what to do. And if I come in, like, eh, I'm in quarantine. This is like horrible. You should buy my book. Like, that's not going to inspire you to do anything. My job, my role here is to get you guys excited about the possibilities in the future, what's happening. Because if not. Um, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to change. And so right now is this really re- unique, rare opportunity that all of us have to, to literally like sharpen our saws, start gathering our customers, start serving them at a higher level than we ever have before. And uh, if I don't show up for you guys at the top 10 level energy, there's no way in the world that I'm going to be able to help you and serve you at all. And so hopefully you guys understand the same thing's true for your audiences. Like if you're able to show up at level 10, it's kind of like, you guys ever seen those tuning fork experiments where they have like two tuning forks? They're like ding, ding, and they're both different tones. But as they bring them together, what happens? Both the tones end up sinking and they stay in the middle. Same is true for you guys. Like if you, um, if, uh, if you walk into a room and like, and everyone's like depressed and you walk in all excited, if you are, if like whoever's got the most certainty in any situation wins. So if you come with more certainty, more excitement, you will raise the level of the energy of all the people around you and then they'll be, they'll be at your level. If you walk in though and you're like, eh, what's up everybody, you will suck the energy down of everybody. And so your job as a role model, as a mentor, as a leader, is not to come in and like suck everyone's energy down, it's to bring them up, especially in times when people's energy is low, especially in times people are bored, they're sitting at home, they don't know what to do with themselves. Like your job is to come in and serve your people at a level you can bring them up, okay? And so while I'm doing this for you guys, you should be doing it for your group, for your audiences. Um, I did a podcast probably a year, year and a half ago talking about how the main goal of business is to gather people together, right? Like this traffic secrets is all about how do you gather your dream customers together so you can serve them. Okay, I'm a big believer that that our businesses are, that we've been called to serve a group of people, right? And so your job as a business owner is to, is to congregate together a group of people and to serve them, right? That's what traffic secrets is all about. How do you fill your funnels, your websites with your dream customers? How do you find them? How do you gather them together so you can serve them? Okay, and my job, my role in this whole conversation is I feel like I'm a gatherer of gatherers. I've gathered a whole bunch of people, all of you guys, and I'm trying to teach you guys how to gather your people. Okay, because your people are waiting for you. They need you right now more than ever. They need your inspiration. They need your, your techniques. They need your frameworks. They need your knowledge right now more than anything. And so my job, my goal is to inspire you guys. And hopefully if I'm doing this, I'm coming off this kind of crazy energy, that when you go back to your groups, at whatever level they are, they can be small, they can be big, it doesn't matter, but you're gonna do the same thing and like inspire those people and bring them up as well. Um, that way you can help them be successful. Um, so anyway, hope that helps. Tina said, so we should unfollow high school friends? I would. <laughs> I'd say, sorry guys, this is now, this is not a social platform for me. Okay, one of the things I talk a lot about this in here is I said, look, there's people who consume social media and people who produce social media. If you wanna be successful in, in this business, you have to stop consuming social media. You need to be focusing on producing social media. Does that make sense? Okay, our job is not to be consumers here. Okay, our job is to be creators. We're creating content. We're creating things, right? Like today, I've done eight different uh, interviews, and now this one right now, so this is my ninth time going live today. Nine times. How much time do you think I spent like scrolling through everyone's feeds and like reading their stories? None, because I'm not consuming social media. I'm producing it. Okay, and that's what I want you guys to understand. You are producers of social media. And that's what this book's gonna help you to be, is to figure out how to like break out of this consumption where I'm in there trying to read my friends and my family are talking about saying, no, 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 like I love them. I wanna serve them. I'm gonna unfriend them. I'm gonna focus on the people I've been called to serve. I'm gonna produce social media to help change and inspire their lives. That's what your guys' role in this, in this game is. Your, your role is not, like you don't provide any value by you scrolling through the news feeds and like commenting on people's feeds. Like that's not how you provide value in this world. You provide it by not consuming social media, but producing it. And that is the game that we are in right now. So if you don't have a copy of your book yet, go to trafficsecrets.com. We're in pre-launch. These books don't ship till May 5th. But the good news is, for any of you guys who like, uh, the order form bump is for the audiobook where you can actually take this book and pour it into your ears and listen to the entire thing right now. Um, in fact, I had someone this morning message me said they listened to the book four times over the weekend. 
Okay, now it took me three days to record the audiobook. I already talked fast. It's seven hours long. Um, if they listen to it four times, that's 28 hours of me talking to them. I'm so sorry for whoever that was. Um, but uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, you're starting to master these principles. But any of you guys, you can go listen to this like tonight. Um, you can download it. The audiobook's available right now. You can download it. And then if you guys are interested in like the entire box set of all my life's work, um, when you go through the pro- when you get the free copy of the book with the upsell is you get the box set here which comes with uh, dot com secrets expert secrets and traffic secrets along along with also the unlock secrets workbook and you're also able to get if you want you can get the audio books of all these um, these are all the new updated hardbound versions they're all new in fact just to kind of put this in perspective the dot com secrets book the first printing was fifty eight thousand words when I did the second edition this is five years later I went back and rewrote it um, I, I went from 58,000 words, I deleted 30,000 of the words, and then I wrote more, and it ended up being, I think, 93, 94,000 words. So it's basically a brand new book. And same thing happened to Expert Secrets, and this is a brand new book. So um, if you've read them in the past, you still should get the box set. Number one, because it's cool. Like, look how cool it is. Ah! It'll take up like half of your shelf. Like, it'll be amazing. Uh, that's number one, why it's cool. Number two is because they're literally all new books. Uh, number three is because I would love for you guys to read these in order. Uh, this workbook that comes with it basically takes you step by step as you go through these. So you read the dot com secrets book, you thought they unlock the secrets workbook. Then you go through expert and unlock it. Traffic and over here on Instagram, someone called through. Anyway, as you go through these, uh, you'll have mastered all these principles and it'll be it'll be huge for you. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys. Again, you can get a free copy of the Traffic Secrets right now at trafficsecrets.com. Again, this ships May 5th. The box set ships May 5th, but you get the audiobooks for one book or all of them also on that, uh, also inside that funnel. Uh, it's all available right now at trafficsecrets.com. Uh, with that said, thanks you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate you all. Um, hopefully, you guys are doing well uh, in your time of quarantine, that you're using this time for your strategic advantage, that you're paying attention, you're studying, you're learning, you're sharpening your saw, um, you're becoming... Um, to becoming better. So uh, if so, what's going to be cool is that on the other side of this whole thing, um, you're going to be miles ahead of everybody else and you'll be running while they're still trying to figure out what in the world's happening. So um, it's pretty cool. So again, you go to trafficsecrets.com, you get the book. If you want uh, the audio books, the up, like, everything's in the funnel. So go through the process. Trust me, I built a funnel or two in my life. It's a lot of fun to go through it. Take your time, like buy the funnel, look at the upsells. That, you know, you buy this, the upsells, the order form bump is the audio book. And then uh, you buy the box it and there's an, uh, an audio book upsell. Anyway, it's all in there. Have fun with it. Thanks, you guys. Um, and uh, I will see you all tomorrow uh, when we go live again and, and go a little deeper into the Traffic Secrets book. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate you all. And uh, if you enjoyed this at all, please comment down below. Feel free to share it if you're on Facebook or Instagram, wherever you can. And uh, with that said, I'll see you guys manana. Bye, everybody.